Okay, in this lesson we're going to differentiate from first principles uh, the function x equals x squared plus 1. And um, first of all, I want to find the gradient of the tangent at the point 2, 5. Now, to do that, I'm going to first of all work out the gradient of the secant, pq. So the gradient of the secant, pq, is the difference in the y values, which will be 10 minus 5 over 3 minus 2, which is equal to 5. Now what we'll do then is we'll take this Q and we're going to move it down. Move that down to another position. Call it Q dash. And I'm going to work out the gradient of the secant PQ dash. Now we'll make Q dash. Hang on, let's rub that out. We'll make Q dash. have the coordinates 2.5 and putting 2.5 in here squaring and adding 1 we get 7.25 so now the gradient PQ dash is 7.25 minus 5 over 2.5 minus 2 and that comes out to 4.5. We know that the gradient now, which is obvious, is going to get uh, shallower. All right. Now I'll go a little bit closer to the point P, or very close. We'll take the point Q double dash. We'll make that 2.1. Getting quite close to P now. And put 2.1 into the function and square it and add 1. We get 5.41. And with the same process, we get the gradient PQ double dash is equal to 5.41 minus 5 over 2.1 minus 2. And that gives 4.1. Right, so we can see it's going from 5, 4.5, 4.1. Now I'll get really close and we'll look at the coordinates of Q triple dash being 2.01 and putting 2.01 in we get 5.0401 so the gradient of the four dashes four dashes is equal to 5.0401 minus 5 over 2.01 minus 2 and that gives 4.01 now you can see that what's happening is that we're getting the the gradient of p we can sort of uh, estimate or guess to be 4 because it's getting closer and closer to 4 and this is the limiting position of the secant so we'll, we'll say then that the gradient gradient of this tangent gradient of the tangent is equal to 4 Okay, now the next part we'll do a, a more formal treatment of this. All right, here's a more formal treatment. Find the gradient of the tangent at not a specific point, but the general point x, function x, or function x for this particular case is x squared plus 1. We'll start again with, with the, the gradient of the secant pq, the gradient of the secant pq. It's going to be the difference in the y values, which will be the function x plus h minus function x all over. And this will be x plus h minus x, which will just be h. Now, the gradient of the tangent will be equal to the limit. We come to the limit theory as h goes towards 0 of function x plus h minus function x all over h. All right, now, a, rather than writing the, the gradient of the tangent, is the notation we're going to use will be f dash x. f dash x is the 
notation used for the abbreviation of the gradient of the tangent. Okay, so we're going to apply this, uh, this rule to this particular function. Okay, now first of all, we'll work out what the function x plus h is. So function x plus h. Will be equal to x plus h all squared plus 1, which is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1. Now, function x we know is x squared plus 1. Now, subtracting these two, we get. These, these will go out, and we simply get 2xh plus h squared. Now we'll divide by the h. And what happens, we simply get these h's cancel, we get 2x plus h. Right, now from our limit theory, now as h goes towards 0, then the limit will simply be equal to 2x. Now, if you recall from the previous one, this value was 2, 5, right? And when we, we got the value of the gradient of the tangent was to be 4, we estimated it was going to be 4. Here we can simply put in x equals 2, so f dash of 2 will be equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, is the, is the more formal treatment of determining the, the gradient of the tangent uh, for x squared plus 1. And you, if you want to work out from first principles, you use the same formula and you just simply substitute x plus h in for x and go through the same pr procedure.